Hi guys! Good day! This is Teacher MJ and our topic for today is all about the rectangle, finding the value of x and all sides. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So once again class, before solving with this kind of problem, you need to know first the basic properties of a rectangle. Now if you don't know the basic properties of a rectangle, I do have a link on the description below on how to solve basic properties of a rectangle. So in my example there class, I just solved how to find all angles and all sides of a rectangle. Alright, so let's proceed with this one. Given rectangle work, WO is equals to 4X minus 4. KR is this one, this line KR, 2X plus 6. WS is 3X minus 2. And RS or SR is equals to 5X minus 10. So one of the properties of a rectangle class, it says that the opposite sides are congruent. So this side and this side are congruent. This WR and OR are congruent. So, finding the value of WR, we can say that WO, finding the value of WO, we can say that WO, this line WO is congruent to, congruent to line KR. According to the properties of a rectangle, opposite sides are congruent. So, WO is congruent to line KR, so we can equate this one, we can write the equation 4x minus 4 is equivalent to 2x plus 6. Alright, so 4x minus 4 equivalent to 2x plus 6. Now, to get the value of x, transpose this 2x from right to left. So, do not forget, class, once you transpose an equation from right to left, from this equal sign, you change the sign. Okay, so copy 4x. 2x is positive, you change it to negative. This becomes negative 2x equals copy 6, transpose 4 from left to right, so negative, it becomes positive. So we need to make all x on the left side or on the right side, and all numbers are on the right side or on the left side. Do not forget, class, that x equals 3 is the same with 3 equals x. That's the same, class. So it's either x is on the left side or x is on the right side. But in our example, I put x on the left side. So subtract, subtract 4, 4 minus 2, this is 2x, 4x minus 2x, that's 2x equals 6 plus 4 is 10. So to get the value of x, divide both sides by 10, and our x is equals to 5. So this is our x, x equals to 5. So to, to get the value of kr, just substitute the value of 5 from this given equation, 2x plus 6. So 2x plus 6 x is 5, so 2 times 5 plus 6. So 2 times 5 is 10 plus 6, that would be 16. So therefore, KR is 16. So this one is 16. KR is 16. So therefore, WO, it must be 16. Because opposite sides are congruent. Even if we check that one, let's try to check. Let's substitute. You can pause the video class for you to really understand this one. So let's substitute 4x minus 4 from this given equation. Let's check if it's if WO is really 16 with this given x is 5. So x equals 5. So 4 times 5 minus 4. So 20 minus 4, that is 16. So our answer is correct. Therefore, this equation is correct. Alright, so... Let me erase this one. So our WO, so we can, we, can, we can write that. WO is equals to 16 and KR is equals to 16. Next class is we need to get the value of this. We cannot get the value, the value of WK first. We cannot get this WK. It's because we need to get the value of, the, of this WR so that we can use the Pythagorean theorem. This one class. Okay, if we cut this triangle into half, this is WKR, right? This is WKR. So we already have the value of KR, which is 16, and we have this given equation, 3x minus 2 and 5x minus 10. So we need to get this value so that we can find this WK based on the Pythagorean theorem. Alright, so we can equate this one, this 3x minus 2 and 5x minus 10 because According to, according to the, do not forget class, according to the properties of 
of a rectangle that the diagonals are diagonals bisect diagonals are equal and they bisect each other. What do you mean by bisect? What what do you mean by bisect, sir? It means that they inter they intersect, they bisect each other. It means that they cut themselves into half equally. Okay? They cut the diagonals, they bisect each other, they intersect each other, but they cut themselves into half equally. Do not forget one of the properties of a rectangle that diagonals are equal and they bisect each other. Okay? So KO Line KO bisect line KR in which they cut it into half. So therefore, this line here, this WS, is congruent to line SR. This OS is congruent to line KS. So therefore, if WS is congruent to line SR, we can say, we can equate, we can say that WS is congruent to line SR. So therefore, we can write the equation that 3x minus 2 is equals to 5x minus 10. Alright, so 3x minus 2 is equals to 5x minus 10. So to get the value of x, to get the value of x, transpose 3x from left to right. So do not forget class, from this given equation, if you transpose 5x from right to left, 5x becomes negative. So that would be really that would be really tricky in your part or that, that make things complicated. So the thing that you will do, so instead of transposing 5x from right to left, you just transpose 3x from left to right. Okay? So it, it doesn't matter class. Always remember, x, is equal, x equals 3. That's the same with 3 equals x. So it's either x is on the left side or x is on the right side of this equal sign. Okay, so always remember that one because most of my students they commit mistakes with this one because they always put this x on the on the left side, but it's not necessary class. Okay, it's not necessary. You can put x on the right side or it's either on the left side. That's the same. Three equals x is the same with x equals three. All right. So instead of transposing five x from right to left, we transpose three x from left to right so that the <laughs> equation will not be negative. So this becomes 5x, transpose x, 3x from left to right, this becomes negative, 3x, change the sign of 3x, it becomes negative. So this is negative 2, copy, still on the left side, our x is on the right side. This 10, you transpose it from right to left, this is negative, it becomes positive 10. Alright, so negative 2 plus 10, so if the signs are not the same, subtract then copy the sign of the larger number, this becomes 8 equals 5x minus 3x, that's 2x. To get the value of x, divide both sides by 2. So our x is equals to 4. 4 is equals to x or x equals to 4, that's the same. Alright, so to find the value, post the video class because I will erase this one. x is equals to 4. Alright, so our... So to get the x is equals to 4, so do not forget x equals to 4, substitute this equation, so 3x, 3x minus 2, so if x is 4, so 3 times 4 minus 2, 3 times 4 minus 2, that's 12 minus 2, therefore, 3x minus 2, therefore, ws, is 12 minus 2 is 10, so therefore, our ws is equals to, WS is equals to 10. So therefore, this is 10. So if this is 10, of course, SR should be 10. Because this side is congruent to this side. Even if we check that, let's check. Okay, let's check. 5X minus 10 and our X is 4. So 5 times 4 minus 10. So 20 minus 10, that is 10. That's 10. Okay? So meaning our answer is correct. So, SR is 10. Let me just write it. SR is 10. Therefore, this KS is also 10 because diagonals of a rectangle are equal. So, this is 10. Alright, so we're done with 10, 10. Uh, we, we're done with the diagonals. So, therefore, KR, a uh, KO, KO is equals to 20. Line KO is equals to 20. And line WR is equals to, line WR is equals to 20. 
So let let us get this WK. To get WK, we draw it a while. We draw it again with this given Pythagorean theorem. So W K R. We already have the value of K R, which is sixteen, and our W R, which is twenty, because W S is ten and S R is ten. So this is twenty. So find this W K. So to find W K, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. Let me just erase this one class. Pause the video for you to check. Okay. So to find to find W K, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. The formula. I hope that you already know the formula of Pythagorean theorem. That would be c squared is equals to a squared plus b squared. Do not forget, plus our c is always the longest side, which is the W R. C is the hypotenuse, always the longest side. So, which is 20. So, this is 20 squared equals our A. So, it's either this is our A or B. That would be the same answer. So, let's just put WK is our A. So, we are told to find A. It's either, guys, it's either this one is your A or this one is your B. But the hypotenuse, you cannot interchange that one. Always C, the longest side. So, we find A. So, A squared plus we don't have the value of A, which is WK. Plus this side A, we don't have it, so we put it A squared. B, this KR, we put it at our B, so our B is 16 squared. So this will be 20 squared plus, it means 20 times 20. It's not 20 times 2, it's 20 squared, 20 times 20. This is 400 is equals to A squared plus 16 times 16. Let me use the calculator. Um, for us to multiply this one directly so 16 times 16 I think 256 that's correct 256 so to get the value of A transpose 256 from right to left okay do not transpose A from left from right to left because you it the this sign will be negative this A will be negative that would be really complicated so just transpose 256 from right to left so this becomes 400 minus 256 400 minus 256 so minus 256 equals a squared so 400 minus 256 that would be 144 equals a squared and to get the value of a extract square root both sides extract square root both sides cancel this one so our a the square root of 144 class that's 12 so our a is 12 because 12 times 12 is 144. The square root of 144 is 12. So our A is 12. Therefore, WK is 12. This is 12. Now, if this is 12, OR should be 12. Alright, so that's it, class. We just found the value of all of all sides. Easy, right? We find the value of all sides. So... To find the value of if the, the other equation, if the other line, if the other side is not given, you can always use Pythagorean theorem. Alright, even if this side, you can also use this side. K, okay. same, same draw, same illustration. Uh, no, this side. This right triangle class. Uh, K, O, R. Since we already have KO, which is 20, from this given diagonal, 20, and KR is 16, same illustration, you can use Pythagorean theorem. Alright, so I hope this video helps. If you like this video, please do not forget to subscribe. You share it to your friends' class, to your classmates, to your colleagues. And I hope that you learned something new today. And you have a great day. If you have some comments, class, if you have any questions with regards to rectangle or any parallelogram that you would like to ask or any topics in math, go ahead. Put a comment on the section below. We will be answering that one. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.